morning everybody and uh welcome this morning to a fine sunny day here i don't know what it's like with you um i'm kate from what kate made and today we are going to be looking at some very simple gifts that you can give to a new baby take to a baby shower um one of which is quite good if you're organizing the baby shower it's a nice thing you can you can take along now if you just bear with me a second i'm gonna get you up on my second device so I can see I can see comments so excuse me my goodness my if you are out there give us a wave say good morning tell us what the weather's like with you um so the three things I'm going to show you today as I said very very simple ideas but quite nice um two of them are gifts and one of them is something I will call it an activity that you can do at a baby shower which is a really nice thing so uh, without further ado, I will show you what it is we're going to make. Now, the first one, may I say, you're all going to benefit from my mistakes with this, with this because some of some of the things I've, I, the way I've done things isn't quite as I expected it to be. So, you know, I, what I'm saying is I'll tell you to get what to get that I'll make it work better. So the first thing is a cupcake, a baby cupcake, and it's made out of, and this is it. So this is your icing bit with a little, and this is the cupcake case. Um, it's made from a vest, a baby vest. So this is newborn size and a pair of baby socks. And you just roll, roll them and make them into a little cupcake. It's a nice little ribbon on the sock. Um, and then you can make several of these and put them in a box. And it's a really nice idea because and you can do different sizes as well. You could do three newborn ones and three of the next size and three of the next size. Because if any of you have your have a children, you'll know that there are never enough babies. <laughs> Baby grows. You never have enough. They're always going to be, you know, in the wash. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. The second thing is another very simple idea. And again, I've, I've kind of half started this and I'm going to finish it with you. Is that is a decorated course hanger. This is a big one. I've chosen a wooden one. You can get smaller ones than these, but, and I have left it wooden, but I've since thought maybe I, you could stand it down lightly and paint it and that might be nicer. And I don't know, no, I've got to get the angle of the camera right. Which way am I going? That way. You can see that I have put, you're always in reverse, you see. This makes it difficult for me. Ah, there we go. I've put stickers on. And decorated it. Now I've chosen these sea creatures and I've only done half of it so I'm going to show you the other half and another little trick that that makes the hanger sort of gives it a double use. So that's the second thing. Now the third thing you're going to have to come for a little walk with me because I've hung it up and um, so this is the idea I think is it makes a really nice activity at a baby shower. So if you just bear with me I'm going to take the camera over and show you, try not to show you my scruffy workroom what I've made and this is it it's a star mobile the stars are just made from card but the nice thing is on some of them because they're blank on the back you can write a little message so the idea would be is that you would create your hanging bit and that everybody at your baby show you see that one's just got a heart on it would um would create a star would cut one out Write a little message on the back and hang it on the mobile. It's a very simple mobile, um, but it's, it's a nice idea, a, a nice little keepsake. So without further ado, we're going to start with the mobile uh, because that's slightly more complicated um, design. Now, when I made mine, I used a very thin silver sewing yarn to attach the um, stars onto the the hanging bit but that thought it was a bad idea because it's too thin my idea would be that it, gold and silver would match and that they would look almost invisible so the stars are hanging but it, it tangles up too easily i've spent hours and hours this morning trying to untangle the stars so i've abandoned them in favor of um a white silky crochet cotton this is a very fine one it doesn't have to be crochet cotton it could be any sort of uh thin white cotton. I would steer away from sewing thread because I think you'd have the same problem with the tangling. 
Um, if you wanted to make it a more rustic thing, if you use maybe used um, brown card instead of gold and silver, you could use string. And that would be nice to give it a more rustic effect. So what you need to make your stars is, for the mobile, I'm using bamboo skewers. I've cut the pointy end off and rubbed it with a little sandpaper, at, same at the other end, just to smooth it out. Um, you could use a dowel if you wanted a more substantial one, but I found this, this works reasonably well. So you also need your gold and silver card. This is what I've got. I think I bought it in a, in a little craft shop, might even have been the work. So it's uh, metallic on one side and plain on the other. You need your sewing cotton. You also need a big needle. You don't have to have this. You can punch holes in your stars and tie it on, but I just found that the needle was better to thread them on. You also need your template, which were on the, um, should have been up on the, the post. So um, big star, medium star, little star, and the pens right on the back. Of it. But that, as I say, you would take that to your guess. So without further ado, we're going to start. So bear with me while I um, turn down the camera. Just Oops, I'm being very careful not to drop it. Okay. Oh, final thing you'll need is glue for this, particularly for this part. So I'm just going to charge up my glue gun. Um, good morning, Denise. Um, Angela, we're very quiet this morning. Anybody else out there, give me a, a shout and say hello. Right. So we're starting with our um, doweling. We're going to make it into a cross piece like that. And I'm going to fasten it together in the middle with a bit of glue. The hanging mechanism, I, I used my thread and made a, a loop that way and a loop that way, which I would recommend you do last because it's the balance. Once you've tied on the, the stars, um, it, it'll it need to balance. So you need to have them at similar weight on, on each end of your of your, um, your stick so that it doesn't tip. Um, when I, I'm gonna thread them, the stars onto, onto the white thread and tie them at one end, and then I'm gonna tie it round bamboo skewer and then I'm going to put an, a dot of glue on that stops it slipping up and down the skewer so I shall get started by making my my cross shape and putting a substantial if I can get it going bear with me a second the glue stick always wants to pop out a substantial piece of glue and then just holding them while it sets slightly. And then I'm going to pop it to one side so that it sets properly before I start messing with it. So I'm going to just pop that away up there. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut out some stars. I mean, this is very simple. You just draw around your template. Nice pair of, sharp pair of scissors. I'm very much um, frugal, I'll say frugal mean with materials so I always sort of like place my template so I get the maximum amount of um well the, the minimum amount of wastage but I, I already have cut some because you, you don't want to see me cutting plant stars all the time um so they are excuse me I'm getting glue everywhere I've got some already done so I'll just I'll just draw around and cut out a couple so I'll just draw around some smaller ones so I'm using a pencil because if you still have the marks left after you've cut the stars out, you can just rub it out with the rubber. A uh, pair of craft scissors. I like to just cut round it a little bit first, like that, because it just makes it easier getting into the points with your scissors. So we'll just do the one, as I say, I've already cut them out. Um, Try and cut just inside the line because that means that you don't have to rub the marks out later. Always a bonus. 
any bigger pieces of card you could keep or other I think if, if you watched me the other week we did one on scrap paper I mean these are quite small but for instance if you had a small heart punch or something you could punch punch that make confetti the table Maureen Williamson. Hi, Maureen. Glad you could join us. I hope you're all having nice weather today. We had lots of rain last night. Um, it was it rained nearly all night, but it was really that's really good because the garden looks so much better this morning. Right, so that's your star. So you would cut out um a variety of shapes of the sizes in the two different um cards. So I've got quite a few here now. When I was talking about balance before. Obviously, the big ones weigh more than small ones. So when you come to tying them on, this is all mistakes I've made that you're getting the benefit of. Um, balance them out. So if you've got a big one on one side, you want a big one on the other at the ends. It's mostly at the ends where you get the balance problem. So I'm going to try and be a bit more mindful of where I put them this time. Um, if you were doing this as an activity at um, a baby shower, I would I would prepare it in such that you've got your hanger ready, you've got all your threads ready. Even if you could even cut your stars out if you wanted to and just get your guests to put a message on the back. So for instance, um one of mine said twinkle twinkle little star. So you could write that on the back. And then you could put love from. And I'll put cakes on it. We don't have any babies coming, so I'm not likely to do this. But okay, so that's your that's your little message on the back. Right. We'll start by um, deciding. You can see now that the glue's dried on this, so it's holding together quite well. We'll decide on the placements, I think, first because. As I, as, you, as I said, I went ahead willy-nilly and just stuck them all on and it wasn't very, it wouldn't balance. It took me ages to get it right. And of course, if it's not balancing, then it's tangling. So I'm going to, um, and I'm also going to be more mindful of the colours. So I'm going to put a big star on each one. So on the ends and then the smaller stars in the middle. As it so happens, I've got Four of each, so that's all I'm going to do today. To fasten them on, I've threaded my big eyed needle with my cotton, and you simply go through one of the points. Um, the needle will go through quite sharply. You don't, you just need to go through a little bit. Tie. Tie it, the double knot, cut off your end, and then we're going to, I'm not going to tie it on just yet, I'm going to leave it because what I want to do is try and get them the same length as well, threads, on either end of our, um, um, on either end of a cross piece because you don't want it, again, it's all about balance, so I'm just going to measure roughly. The next piece of thread. Put my quite thick this thread for going through this needle. So yeah, doesn't have to go all the way through, just enough. And again, we're going to pierce the card and tie it off. And cut it. I mean, this is a nice idea for any child. It doesn't have to be for a baby. Um, The older children might not be quite so interested in having a mobile, but so they're the same length. So what I'm going to do now is tie them 
to the end of my piece of bamboo cane. Again, I'm just tying a double knot because I am going to pop a dot of a piece of glue on, blob of glue there. So that will hold that in place. I'm going to do the same at the other side. Tie a double knot. Glue on to hold it in. Sticking my glue to all the bits of paper. Doesn't need to be a lot of glue because it just needs to hold that knot there. Right? So that's the first two. And I'm going to carry on. Now the next um two stars, I'm going to I'm going to try and vary the length. I'm going to make them a little bit shorter than the other two, but but the same length again. So I cut both pieces of thread to the same length. I can do the other two big stars. So. Baby showers seem to be coming more and more of a thing. They weren't a thing when I had my child, who is 13 this week, so that's a long time ago. Um, people just gave you presents. But now it seems that a baby shower is, is quite um, an event, so which is nice. Um, nice way to celebrate the baby coming. And of course, a lot of people now know what their baby is what sex the baby is going to be and we didn't because they couldn't really tell or they couldn't tell very accurately. Let's just do this one. I'll do this one and then I will show you how it hangs. Um, it's the same principle with the smaller stars that you would um, just put them on at even even intervals um, with the inner stars because they don't affect the balance of the thing quite so much. You can vary the length and, of the um, strings a bit more, which is nice because then you've got it, you've got that effect where they all hang at different heights. This is the last one tying on. And I will glue it. My glue gun had gone to sleep, but it's woken up again now. So one glue at that end, glue at that end, and then fingers crossed. So went well. That glue set a little bit. Now that one's set to the cloth, so that was very clever. Now I don't know how well you can see this. You can see them hanging. If I turn it up, you might see a bit more. So it's a bit like a puppet. Puppets on a string. <laughs> you can see them anyway. So I'm going to show you how to add the um the hanging loop. So I'll pop you back down again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie two, one that way and one that way. So I need that and a bit extra. So it's got a loop. So about four inches extra. And then you make your other one the same length. Oops, that out the way. So we're tying them. This is what I mean about it getting tangled, but to be so careful. We're gonna tie them um, in the same place where we've hung our first start, slightly behind it. And you tie one end there. In a double knot. And then the other end behind the star that's opposite it. Oh, 
the whole thing is in someone's name. I don't know why I'm struggling with knots this morning. I do know why. It's because I'm tired because my new dog kept me up all night again. And I say new dog, he's not he's not a puppy, he's an old dog we've adopted. And it's just not settling at night. So, right, so that's the two knots tied. And once again, I'm going to just put a small blob of glue on to hold them in place. So then turn it through 90 degrees. And we're going to do the same on the other cross piece with our other piece of thread that we cut, which I have now buried. Okay, so if I lay that across the middle and we're not tight, tying it by mistake. Like that one end and the other one exactly opposite. I don't know whether there's not many of you out there. There's not many comments this morning. If I just say, if you um, are watching on replay, you could comment replay and then we know who's who's watching after the fact. I'm just going to trim off these ends a little. That's tidy. So I want my blob of glue there. And my blob of glue there. And that end up as well. So, what you have now is your hanger. It's got a little bit tangled. I was wondering why one was longer than the other when I measured them. And when you lift, everything's gluing to the table now. I'll turn you up again and wait bear with me. So you can see now that it's fairly well balanced in the middle. So when you hang it, it's <laughs> you can see my stars are all hanging and it isn't tipping over at the top, which you can't see. If I drop it down, you can see it. It's um it's balancing fairly well. So you would just hang as many other stars off it as you wanted to. This stars got a little bit tangled with the glue. So I've just got the four big ones on it, but you can add as many stars as you want to and put your messages on the back. And that's quite nice. It's not it's not the most sturdy of um, mobiles that you'll see, but I think it's just nice as a memento of your little one's baby shower. Okay, so I'm going to pop that to one side. I'll turn my glue off. Right, so the other two items I'm going to show you are very simple to make. Um, we'll go next to the coat hanger. That, as I said, this is a wooden coat hanger. Um, the other thing I'm going to use are a few um, wooden clothes pegs. Now, as I said before, because I've been, I've always I've had a busy weekend, so what I would do if I did this again is sand down the wood on my coat hanger and paint it so. Um, if you don't know the baby's gender, then a nice neutral white or yellow. Oh, if you do, you could paint it the right colour. Um, um, once it's once the paint's dry, then you can go for. Let me get this right way around again. I don't, right, that's it. Because you're back to front for me. You can put your stickers now. I've chosen sea creatures because um, I quite like that. What I mean, I use the stickers. I use I um. I just bought a selection at a craft store. Well, it was a children's, it was it was a home bargain section. And they were in a pack and there's all sorts of things in here. So there was butterflies, there's, um, there's puppies, there's um, zoo animals. They're all nice children's stickers. So you, you can decorate it as you as you wish. Um, so let me just pop the camera down. I don't, you don't really need me to demonstrate how to put stickers on, but I will. Um, I'm trying to find the one that I use. Uh, I'll go with them. Oh, there it is. Um, 
So these are the ones I've got left on this strip. So um, you'll notice it's wider at the top and it gets narrow and then it gets wider again, my coat hanger. So I want to put them so that they, they look like they're swimming. Um, but I don't want to put anything on that's too scary, so no sharks. I think I'll go. Well, that looks like a shark. I thought that was a whale. Wait a minute, I've got another one here. So let's look at this. My pack had two or everything in it. Um, that's a nice whale. So we'll put that at the top. And then I'll go with, because it's narrow, you've just got to be careful that you're not. Um, and some of them swim in one direction, some of them swim in the other. So we actually want them to be swimming in this direction. None of which are as such. Let's go with the crab. Little crab waving. Does it matter if they're not swimming in the same direction? This one's swimming. Oh, but that's a little bit big. See what I mean about it being, um, it gets narrower. So we'll put a starfish on. We don't want them hanging over the edge too much. We'll put this little one on. Um, we'll go with one of these. Oh, that's, that's quite pretty. Uh, I've got space for a bigger one at the bottom, so I might go with the jellyfish. Uh, and the last space, I think I'll fill with it, this flying fish. There we go. So that's the hanger. So what I would do after this is then give it a, a coat of uh, clear varnish because you don't want the stickers to come off and that will help keep them on. Okay. Now the, the other thing I'm going to do with it is I'm going to add these pegs to this, this um, cross piece here. Your coat hanger might not have one, but my, mine does. And I'm thinking if you're putting um, a top or a cardigan on it, you might want to hang trousers. So these would be ideal, or you could put socks or something on them. But I'm going to decorate the the um. I'm just going to pop that one side. I'm going to decorate these with a sticker as well. And the way I'm going to do it is to pop them on some cards before I. No, I'm not. Change my mind. So I'm going to pick some of the smaller items on my sticker page. So this the seaweed bit and the shell, so that we make sure they fit on the top of the peg and we're going to put them on the top of the pegs to decorate the pegs like that. This is a very simple thing. It is more about decoration than it is about um, actual crafting skill. But that doesn't matter. Now that one, that's a little um, starfish, but I've also got a nice little pink um, seahorse as well. So I'll put both of that on. In fact, you can decorate them all the way down. You don't just have to decorate um, the top so we'll do that we'll pick out the smaller elements and there's a shell there decorate the peg all the way down and with this one we can use the fish that swimming upwards in our middle element and some Or um, blobs of a little shell there. There. So we've decorated the three things. Now, this is where we are going to use our glue again to attach the pegs to the coat hanger. Um, we're going to space them equally, like that, so that they are there if ready. And so we're going to glue them on the back there. And you need to glue them so they're in the middle, but not too close to the top edge. So what we want is to be able to press them open, but them to be attached. So that I'm going to put the glue. You see me? I'm going to put the glue onto the peg, and then you want lots. Be very generous because this needs to hold, uh, and then press that and hold it. I'm going to hold on to it because it'll it'll turn. Before the glue sets, if I don't. So that seems to sit. And the other one at the other end. 
I'm just going to put it beside it so that I get the glue in the same place. So where my finger is. And again, a very generous blob. And it will fit about there. So I'll hold that till it starts to set. It moved a little bit then. Could just pop something underneath it till it's set, but I'm gonna add it. I've got anything handy. Yeah. And the final one with well, the glue is going just where the spring is on, on this one. So oops, I am going to pop that right in the middle. Now I think you'll agree for such a simple low material so it's not many materials here that you wouldn't just have in the house probably with stickers not but it, you know for a simple thing for the cost of a few pounds you've got a really nice mm -hmm. um, individual gift that is also useful and as the child gets older they'll appreciate it now I'll just I won't touch the middle one because that's the one I've just glued but I'll show you you can quite easily open it and we'll stick one of the stars in it just so you can see it'll hold something so there we go so that's the second item so that is a, again something you make but it is quite simple it can be given as a gift um right so our final thing our cupcake onesies or onesie cupcakes these are much more this is much more of a presentation thing you're not actually making anything here you're just it's just the way you present it so that's that's mine. Now, when I said before, you're going to benefit from my, my mistakes. It isn't just the fact with the thread. I chose because because we don't have any baby <laughs> babies, so I don't have any of these in the house. I I went out and bought mine, and I chose um a two pack, and I chose this toweling one, which I thought you know it's coming to winter, that'd be warmer, but the problem is it's too thick for this presentation. At least it is with this sock because this sock's too small. I have managed it, but it is a bit stretched. When you do it, if your onesie is just t-shirt material, and these are really just a vest, um, it will be sock will fit better. But it's a simple matter of just folding it. So you fold it so that you've got a folded edge at the top. Okay. Like that. Now you need a pair of socks. Take these pink ones. And the one sock you roll and place at the top so it makes the sort of cherry top to, to your um cake. And then you just roll it as tightly as you can. Well, I'll have to do it tightly because the point is that I'm gonna to have to stretch the other sock around the ones and it's quite mine's quite quite thick. So the stock's quite small. Now, if you had a smaller vest, it would not look as big as mine or as bulky. And then you take the little sock and you... Actually, what I did with this is put another band around it before I did it, but I haven't got one handy at the moment, so I'm just going to have to try and make sure... It, hold it with one hand and stretch the sock with the other. So the sock just simply stretches over the onesie. And this is, in in essence, is your cupcake um, paper. But as you can see, because my ones it is so big, these socks are, are stretched beyond all recognition. Um, as I say, you wouldn't make the same mistake. So then you've got your little cupcake. You've got your um, like your icing top, your uh, little muffin case bottom and your little bit of decoration on the top. And then you could just get a cake box and put these in. And it's a really nice presentation method. Um, as I said, it's very simple. If you, unlike me, use a, a thinner onesie, it would look it would look much better. I think they're really nice. Um, there are several ideas like this. Um, you can make it with uh, little T-shirts. Uh, it doesn't have to actually be 
um, a onesie. So you can make a T-shirt, well, any clothes, really. But the socks are really handy. So that's me for this morning. I hope you've enjoyed, you like the ideas um, I presented to you. I think my favourite is the mobile, but I do like the uh, decorated foot hanger as well. As I said, the onesie idea is a good idea, except the way I, you know, I didn't choose quite the right onesie. Um, so that is me for today. Um, I shall be along again to Village Hall very soon. Um, possibly with something as we're moving towards autumn, possibly with something autumn related next time. Um, so I hope you have a very good morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. And this is Kate saying goodbye.